When battling with Hashimoto's, people commonly experience challenges and symptoms that can significantly impact their quality of life. Here are the top 10 most common problems faced by people with Hashimoto's like me. Persistent fatigue and the low energy levels are frequent complaints among individuals with Hashimoto's. They may struggle to find the energy to perform daily tasks or engage in activities they once enjoyed. You just feel like a sloth. You don't want to go anywhere. You want to hide under the blanket, avoid friends and activities that are connected with friends or exerting more energy than you can afford to spend. Second, weight gain and difficulty losing weight. Not all Hashimoto's patients experience weight gain, but some do. Hashimoto's can cause weight gain or make it challenging to lose weight. The slowed metabolism and hormonal imbalances associated with the condition can contribute to this issue. Hair loss and brittle hair. Many individuals with Hashimoto's experience hair loss or thinning hair. They may notice excessive shedding, brittle strands, or reduction in hair volume. Hormonal imbalances. Hashimoto's can disrupt the delicate balance of hormones in the body, leading to irregular menstrual cycles for women, mood swings, and other hormonal symptoms. Some of the hormonal issues that ensue from that are called different types of syndromes, such as PCOS syndrome, polycystic ovarian syndrome, but a lot of times the underlying issue is thyroid hormone deficiency. Number five, brain fog and cognitive issues. Cognitive impairment, including brain fog, difficulty concentrating, and memory problems is common. These symptoms can affect work performance and daily functioning. It's hard. It's hard to think. It's hard to create. It's hard to motivate yourself. Do something is just the whole ambition is gone. That was the case with me. I didn't want to do anything. Somehow I even pushed through the university and graduated with my master's, but it was so hard. Number six, digestive issues. Some people, actually almost all people with Hashimoto's experience gastrointestinal problems, such as bloating, constipation, irritable bowel syndrome. These digestive issues can further impact overall well-being. It doesn't feel good when your tummy doesn't feel good. You don't feel good either. When your tummy is rumbling or hurting, it's hard to function, believe me. Sensitivity to cold. Hashimoto's can affect the body's temperature regulation, making individuals more sensitive to cold temperatures. They may feel cold even in mild weather or struggle to warm up. That's why I live in Arizona, because it's nice and warm here year-round. Mood disorders, depression, anxiety, and mood swings are prevalent in among people with Hashimoto's. The hormonal imbalances and the impact on neurotransmitters can contribute to emotional and mental health challenges. Muscle and joint pain. This is like one of the worst. I wake up in the morning and I cannot get going because everything is stiff, everything is hurting, and I didn't even exercise the night before. Hashimoto's can cause muscle and joint pain, often described as achy or stiff sensations. These symptoms can interfere with physical activities and daily movement. 10. Last but not least, sleep disturbances. For some people, it's insomnia, difficulty falling asleep or disturbed sleep patterns. Those are common problems associated with Hashimoto's and there are a lot of differences like cortisol, adrenaline spikes, hypoglycemia, low blood sugar that happens at night sometimes too. These patterns are common problems associated with Hashimoto's. Poor sleep can exacerbate other symptoms and affect overall well-being.
it's important to know that the severity and combination of symptoms can vary among individuals with Hashimoto's. For some people, they have only one or two symptoms in the beginning stages of Hashimoto's. The others suffer even when the thyroid stimulating hormone is only 2.5. It all depends on the progression of the disease, autoimmune disease Hashimoto's, and when you get diagnosed. I'd love to hear from you. Bye.